The Cooper Busman Power Module Switch is an all-in-one elevator disconnect solution that allows communication with fire alarm control panels. To connect the shunt trip signal from the fire alarm control panel, there will be two wires. These two wires are a signal loop that is looking for a closed connection point to complete a signal back to the fire alarm control panel. These two wires are not polarity dependent. They are simply a connection signal loop. Remember, all of your field wiring will be on the customer or right hand side of the block. The first thing we need to determine is what version of the power module you have available. The connection points will be one of two layouts. The wires will connect to points one and three, or the two wires will connect to two identical labeled points shown as N-O-F-A-I-N. These points stand for normally open fire alarm in. Each of these two configurations will accomplish the same goal. They are simply different product models. Simply connect the two signal wires from the fire alarm control panel to the two points on the customer side of the connection block. The shunt trip signal is looking for a closed signal across these two points from the fire alarm control panel. This closed signal loop will enable the hydraulic valve system for a battery lowering device. The elevator control panel programming will take over at that point and bring the elevator to a predetermined safe floor. If you have any questions, please call the application engineers of Cooper Busman.